Welcome to the Dranur system. Construction of the colony is underway and on schedule. We're lucky. We would have missed this system if the crew of our survey ship hadn't taken a closer look at the anomaly here. Very. The anomaly orbits both the planet and its moon, and appears to be stable. It's also very disruptive to long-range sensors. The USS Challenger's team has been very helpful. They've installed several planetary defense systems and provided a number of modular building units for use at the colony site. Captain the Forge is standing by on the Challenger. Let's not keep him waiting. Good to see you. I hope the Dran Nur anomaly didn't give you too much trouble getting here. We've been working with the Kentari and the Lucari to study it. We know it's some sort of subspace disruption, similar to what Starfleet has seen in the Delta Triangle. Not only does it cause sensors to behave erratically, but it seems to create a limited sort of cloaking field, both for the planet and the moon. Captain Fumarke and I have been collecting data on the anomaly, but we could use some more. Mind lending us a hand before we head down to the colony? Let's begin with a system scan. I've seen some strange data at that level. Same here. It'll be good to get some more eyes on this. Our sensors, Captain the Forge. Agreed. Let's calibrate sensors inside the anomaly. It might cut down on the interference. Very well. I've indicated an ideal area. Let's try again there. Making progress, but I can't completely filter the sensor noise. Let's study those asteroids. There could be clues in how the anomaly affects them. How peculiar. This material isn't orbiting, it's just drifting. S-type asteroids, mostly iron and silicates. Nothing out of the ordinary. One of our emitters is giving some strange readings. Let's take a closer look. Looks like the emitter relays are offline. We'll need to realign them. Well done. I'd like to run a spectral analysis at the indicated area. Let's send a probe to the moon and collect some data on long-term anomaly exposure. Agreed. But we'll need to get closer to the moon first. Okay. We have some good data to work with here. 
Our science teams have extensive facilities on Dranur. They can help. Sounds good. I'll see you planet side. I'm eager to show you the progress we've made here. We've done a lot in a short period of time, and I think you'll be impressed. Ready to beam down and see what we've been working on? Welcome to the colony. Kumarke was just telling me a bit about some recent energy tech improvements. Let's take a look around. As an engineer, I'm impressed by the technology that our partners brought to this project. Working with it has been a rewarding experience for all of us. Welcome, I'm Kajima, one of the industrial designers. Our colony may be fairly new, but we've already accomplished a great deal. I hope you find our work here interesting. We're trying to build an industrial infrastructure while respecting Lucari design recommendations. It's, uh, let's say, challenging. For instance, they've included considerable xenoscaping. They're committed to incorporating native plant life into the design spaces. It takes considerable effort, but it does mean that our structures are less susceptible to invasive problems with local plant life. Dranur is quite the hidden paradise, don't you think? We only needed a minimum level of terraforming here. The fusion of Lucari and Kentari technology has been very effective. Our integrated tech output continues to impress. This display will confirm that. As you can see, our energy grid uses an array of natural power sources. This is the first of many hydropower sites on Dranur. Beautiful, isn't it? Quite a sight, isn't it? I'm surveying the output as part of setting up hydropower here. I'd eyeball this at a base of three kilowatts, which doesn't seem like much until you consider that there are falls like this all over the coast. They seem to be active year round. Now the challenge will be to capture that energy without disrupting the ecosystem. My lungs were damaged by toxic gases on New Kentar. It's made me more conscious of the need to regulate the pollution that we generate, and more appreciative of what we have here. Come upstairs. There's an excellent view of the colony grounds. The beauty of this world will survive only if we work to preserve and protect it. Let's head up to the science lab. They're working on some exciting projects. As you can see, we've made considerable progress here. Indeed. I'm quite proud of our achievements. There's more to be done, but the foundation we've laid is solid. Researchers can be a bit eccentric. 
We should be able to get results from one of the lab consoles here. Ah, we've been expecting you. You've sent a good deal of interesting data to us. We've already been analyzing it. I'll let my companion Eschel explain the findings in more detail. Uh, thank you, my dear. Uh, the first thing I realized is that the inert particles should be orbiting to obey gravity rather than holding position. I've been focusing my attention there while Ursha has been reviewing the logs from the disabled satellite. Here. Check the probe data from the moon. If some outside force was acting on the particles, it should also be affecting the moon. Odd that the moon is still orbiting normally, but the dust particles are not. Hmm. This data says that the moon is 55% germanium crystal. That's unusual. Funny. My ocular implants are picking up a noticeable amount of germanium here. There wasn't any outside. Where did that come from? Ah, we do have a few of the crystals here. Oh, strictly for study, of course. <laughs> Don't worry. The anomaly prevents outside scans from detecting them. Oh, they're very safe down here. Here, I'll show you. You brought those here? Despite the danger they present? This was the best way to study them. We needed the lab's facilities. Oh, besides, we were just gonna take them back to the moon when we finished. Uh, just a moment. I'm getting a message. Captain Comarque, Zenkethi's ships have just entered the system. They're firing an unknown projectile at the moon. It's some kind of protomatter torpedo! A protomatter torpedo? That's not good. Their ships are turning toward the planet. If they have a torpedo, they may be able to hit us from orbit. The Zenkethi are ruthless. We need to ready our defenses. Why now? Why are they so interested in these crystals? The crystals! They're... hatching? The Zenkethi are turning toward the planet! They're heading for us! We need to get the colony's defenses online right now. I think I can tap into their comms from here. Hold on. Flanking damage detected. Enemy combat in close proximity.
That cargo is blocking the way. Head down to the beach and around. We're still tapped at the Zinkethi comms. Increase your efforts. Eliminate the defenses at once. Captain Paul, beam down for ground assault. Ah, the Dreadsway. It shall be done. Turn off your defenses, or be destroyed! I wouldn't recommend that. Are you here to bomb us, or to eradicate this swarm? There are only a few Dransuli here. Let's clear this place and be done. Fifty credits has burned sheds and scales again. You're wrong. Don't let me down, Gordon. Keep your scales on. Softies are pretty tenacious. Which? The bugs or the colonists? Ransuli infestation has been dealt with. Your assistance is appreciated. A suggestion? This colony has been using open communication channels. That is unwise. You never know who may be listening in out there after all. Let me check my scanner. 
the infestation seems to be eliminated. Usually it's best to be absolutely sure, but there doesn't appear to be a need to waste a protomatter weapon. Don't make this mistake again. Take immediate action if you suspect the presence of Transuli. We're still tapped into Zinkethi comms. Admiral, this planet poses no threat. I witness its complete purge. No Target shield has failed. But the captain who helped us land inside is advocating for peace. Watch your flank! These others aided us against the Transuli. They can help us. Target shield have failed. They are winning. They will fall and try to stop us. There is no sense to this. Get this weakling out of my sight! They changed their comms infrastructure. Locked out. There's a power spike on the lead ship. That might be their new weapon. Captain Neff Parr. My commanding officer is incapacitated, and I have assumed control of Zenkethi forces in this sector. Let us cease hostilities and speak reasonably. As you and I both know, planet Janur has been completely scourged of what we call Dransuli. There is no reason for further conflict between us. We will leave this system peacefully, if you are agreeable. A warning. The Autarch's resolve is unwavering. He will not rest until the Dronsuli are no more, and he will not spare anyone in his way. Choose your side carefully. The Zenkethi must be terrified of these Dronsuli. They're willing to commit genocide to eliminate them, and Zenkethi don't scare easily. Fortunately, some of the Zenkethi are willing to see reason. Things could have been a lot worse if Captain Parr hadn't intervened on our behalf. For now, we need to let the Alliance know what we've learned here. Safe travels. 